In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Nginx Proxy Manager on Proxmox container. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to install Nginx Proxy Manager on a Proxmox container. So about this page, one of my friend was asking like how you did that. It's actually a page I created just for myself, for my videos, so I can just show the title of my video. And if you guys want to use that, you can use that too. It's it's open, it's public. It's flcscrnfullscreen.zonatolutions.com and just you can change color and whatever, but font is going to remain the same. Okay, so let's ask Google, what is an Nginx Proxy Manager? So it says it's an open source tool simplifies management of Nginx proxy uh, configuration by... So for me, it's a very good tool. So I can access my, my web portals, not using the IP addresses, but my subdomains. Like for example, you can see fullscreen.zonandsolutions.com. I'm using uh, proxy manager for that. Proxmox01, I'm using proxy manager for that. I'll show you my proxy manager web portal in the end as a bonus, but now we are going to just do a test install and I'll show you how you can install and configure your first Nginx proxy manager. So I already have a um, container uh, that I was testing. I'm just going to remove this one and recreate because I'm going to show you guys every single thing. Sometimes I get very uh, cute comments like I I had a video where I showed how you can mount multiple disks and uh, do the FS tab stuff like that and, and somebody commented oh okay it's a good video but can you make another video on mounting a secondary disk I was like huh I actually did that <laughs> anyways let's create a container and I'm gonna give it same number Host name is going to be, I'm going to say npm2 because I already have npm. And I'm going to give a password. I hope it's same. Yep. And then I'm going to set Linux because you're going to use Linux. Under local, I'm going to use Debian 12. Okay. So this is my very rough and i don't like this article because i <laughs> i wrote this and i was like i was doing stuff and i was like posting it because i did not want it to like forget about it or just like do one time and then forget because i know nginx proxy manager is just one one time thing if you have a server you install it one time and for several years or you can say for decades it's gonna stay same you will just keep adding subdomains and stuff like that so it's just a one-time thing. I'm going to fix this article as well. So first, let's see what I did. I used Debian 12 from the templates, and I'm using one core, 512, and four, four gigs. OK, so Debian 12, and the disk is going to be four. I'm going to do everything as it is, as I mentioned. 512, that's fine. And then I'm going to use this. And let's use the DHCP. And next. I'm going to use my test domain and let's use 8.8.8.8 or under network. Let's, let's do the uh, static slash eight. I know my network very well. So it's the VM uh, or the container 151. So that's why I'm using 151 address. It's the uh, same so I can remember. Okay, start after creation okay so uh use this and then use this i did every single thing like with the arrows this 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 you can see the number uh container i still have the same number if you see 104 yep and then this 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 and ip addresses okay so this is the command it's upgrade Plus, we are going to use a script. So I'm just going to say thanks to this user uh, on GitHub. This script is like amazing. It, it really worked. 
because before this article, I tried installing Nginx Proxy Manager. I was uh, trying to find an article or I tried different things, but I was not able to install it or run it correctly. But this person's script uh, is working perfectly fine with the Debian 12. So I'm just going to say thanks if you're watching my video or if anybody from his follower is watching my video, just pass my thanks to him. All right. So my VM or my container is there. So let's just log in it and I'm going to close that, increase the size. All right. So root and the password. Okay, so just pasting the command as it is. I'm so lazy. So it's going to update, upgrade, and then run the script. Let's do that. And as it has very low amount of resources, I'm going to say it's, it will take a couple minutes. I'm just going to pause the video. Perfect. Okay, it's updated and upgraded. Now it's running the script. The script from that user EG52, EJ52, whatever it was. So Nginx Proxy Manager operating system updated completely. Yeah, installing dependencies. And sometimes I say like extra words, just don't get confused. Oh, where it was written. It, it, it wasn't written, I just saved. So operating system updated, that's it. <laughs> Not completely, okay. Installing Rust. So. I remember uh, using this script, it took like five to seven minutes. But I want you guys to like see the video because if there is any error, so you can see, or if, if uh, there is something I have to fix, I just want to show you guys every single thing. All right, it's installed. And in the meanwhile, I saw some of the warning messages. I thought maybe it's gonna be uh, like some errors or anything that it's not gonna install, but still that script is working what I used in January sometimes. Okay, so it's installed and it is HTTP with this IP address. So let's try to access it. And I'm gonna use a different browser. 10, no, not the default one. You're not that fancy. And the port number is 80, not slash. It's going to be colon 80. And make sure you type this in the start. So it's 100% sure it's going to request for HTTP, not for HTTPS. Okay. So you can see I have uh, the login information. So by default, the username is the email address, which is, I guess, admin at default.com and the password is Nginx or something. But don't worry, we have a friend. What is the default username and password is for Nginx proxy manager? Okay, so it's admin at example.com and the password is change me. Okay, so let's try this. And well, I know this is the correct one. Admin at example.com and change me. And the first thing you will see, it's gonna ask you to change the password. So full name, username, and the email address. If you wanna keep it as it is, you can keep it as it is. And if you want to update, you can update. I'm going to say npm2 at zsoul.uk. And current password, change me, new password, whatever you want to set. I'm just setting it something not so secure. Okay. So this is the dashboard, which is really, really simple. And you can add as many hosts as you want so just giving you one example i'm gonna add a proxy host let's say my local ip address uh, for my web host is 10.0.0. let's say 50 and i want uh, that's a actually web host 
with 443 port and it's HTTPS. So what I want, I want a domain, let's say webhost 01.zsol.uk to forward to this IP address, right? Also, I can set a custom location. So maybe it's a little bit confusing for you right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to log in my actual proxy manager, uh, npm, not nom, npm.gsol.uk. So here you can see I have 22 proxy hosts, but I'm not uh, running anything else, just a proxy host. So for example, I'm gonna show you, let's say this one, the one for blog, blog.gsol.uk. If I go to blog.gsol.uk, you can see it's a it's a blog and it's it's just a test blog. I'm just doing testing on WordPress, so I'm using for test. So you can see HTTPS, my web host address, and the port number, and other settings are like if you want to do that, it's up to you. You can, or you can search on Google what those things are, and then there is the location of your website so this is the location of my uh, website which is being hosted on a linux server so it's under home this folder this folder this folder and this is the directory and then uh, you can ignore this ip address this is the previous ip address i didn't change it it, it is actually this ip address so you need to type the same ip address 10.0.0.5 and then under ssl you can Create your SSL, like let's encrypt SSL certificate using the Nginx proxy manager. If you don't, if you don't, uh, the SSL certificates, but if you do have, then you can add your SSL certificate here and click on force SSL. But in case if you don't have one, you can just set none. So it's going to be just in HTTP. Every time you will open the site, it will show you some error. But otherwise, if you have SSL certificate, just import it. It's not that uh, big of a deal. I'm using Cloudflare for my SSL cert certificates, and that's like super easy. And if you want to know how I did that, I will create another video on that topic as well. But in case if I if, if I receive any comment related to that, so we installed an Nginx proxy manager, and I also showed you how you can configure that and. Uh, a few examples and I, I can show you uh, one more example. So let's say for my Proxmox, you can see the default port is different. It's 8006. You need to change the port number. Like this is the port number for uh, Proxmox, but I don't need any uh, location for this one because it's another server. Uh, just set this one up. And on the other side, uh, I want to show you NPM as well. So, like, this is the IP address of my this current uh, Nginx proxy manager, and this is the port number. As I opened in uh, in the other portal with 151, and uh, the port number I used was 81. So when I do npm.gsol.uk, I don't need to put in this port number. It will automatically forward to HTTP. And when I'm using SSL certificate and forcing the SSL, then it will redirect that to 443. So that's why if I click on this one, you can see connection is secure. And you can see uh, it's it's valid, gsol.uk, and this is the Assigny Google Trust Services because I'm using uh, the SSL service from Cloudflare. All right. uh, I think that's it for this video. And uh, if you have any kind of question, just let me know. and. Uh, once you will see this article on my blog, it will be updated. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.